Hi, welcome to BioPassionate. In this video, I am going to explain the structure and functions of chloroplast, the kitchen of the plant cell. You know that plants are autotrophs. That means plants exhibit autotrophic nutrition. That means they prepare their own food in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. By using carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, inorganic substances and water from the soil. What makes the plant as autotroph? Yes, plant has colored plastids called chloroplasts in their cells. Chloroplasts contain green pigments called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll responsible for the green color of the leaves and also which imparts the green color to different parts of the plant body. The main function of chlorophyll is absorbs light energy and convert it into the chemical energy. In a typical plant cell, especially in higher plants, there are about hundreds of chloroplasts are present. Number of chloroplasts may be varies from species to species, from algae to angiosperms. When we observe the section of a leaf, we can see elongated spherical cells called palisade and spongy parenchyma are together called mesophyll cells. Majority of the chloroplasts of green plants are found in the mesophyll cells of the leaves. These mesophyll cells are present between the upper and lower epidermis. Ok, now we come to the structure of a chloroplast. Chloroplasts are lens-shaped, oval, spherical, discoid or even ribbon-like organelles. The length of the chloroplast may be varies from 5 to 10 micrometer and the width 2 to 4 micrometer. Like other organelles of a plant cell, chloroplasts are double membrane bound organelles having outer and inner membranes. Inner membrane is less permeable when compared to the outer. The space present inside the membranes of the chloroplasts is called stroma. A number of organized flattened membranous sacs called thylakoids are present inside the stroma. Thylakoids are arranged in stacks like piles of coins called grana. In this picture you can observe the grana like pillars which are interconnected. There are flat membranous tubules called stroma lamellae connecting the thylakoids of the different grana. The membrane of the thylakoids enclose a space called lumen. These stroma lamellae are helpful to carry the chemicals between the grana. As I already mentioned, the entire space stroma of the chloroplast contains enzymes required for the synthesis of carbohydrates and proteins. Now you come to know that why chloroplasts are called kitchen of the plant cell. Because they are synthesizing carbohydrates and proteins which are the major constituents of the food. Like mitochondria, chloroplast also contains their own DNA. It contains small double-stranded circular DNA molecules along with ribosomes in the stroma. These DNA are helpful to the carry the information to the new chloroplasts. So I explained all parts and components of the chloroplast. But where are chlorophylls? Yes, chlorophyll pigments are present in the thylakoids. These are very essential to convert solar or light energy into the chemical energy. 